A very good morning. My name is Alok Srivastava and I welcome you once again to Network Nuts. And uh, in this small video, it is actually a very small video. I am going to share you a very basic or a elementary tip. It's actually a thing that uh, you might think is that oh, it's very small, nothing to do with it, and how can it be secure? But it actually is your first step in securing your servers from unauthorized access so in this video I am going to show you how to secure your login screens now what is a login screen okay I have a virtual machine for you let me move on to that virtual machine here it is this is rel 5.4 running out here now how can I access my server either I can access my server locally means I have the physical access by using the GUI or by using the virtual terminals like we do by pressing alt control F1 F2 F3 or I can access this machine via network or over the network using telnet or something like that now I have a small uh, picture or a diagram made for you to let the topic or the thing understand here it it is uh, suppose this is your server and there are two methods in which you can access your server one is you have the local access means you have the access of, of the keyboard the mouse so whenever you access your server locally using your virtual terminals like you use alt control f1 f2 etc issue file will be presented to you whatever mentioned in the etc issue file will be presented to you on your virtual terminal like you have I'll show you in this if if I give a etc issue you have this Red Hat Enterprise uh, Server 5.4 or any other message appearing on your virtual terminals I hope you all have seen that now and whenever you access your server remotely over a uh, LAN or a WAN say by using the telnet in that case etc issue.net is being presented to you I'll sh so uh, normally or by default both the files have got the same contents it will by default will automatically show you your uh, OS version release your kernel name and a lot of things so as a general rule the less information you share with your uh, employees or with anybody the more secure you are less info shared then more secure you are so how can I secure my login screens it's a very simple method what to do simply either you can make it clear say I can give a command like this show you I can give a command like this clear and give the output to etc issue that's it so now I have got etc issue blank wow that's great so means if anybody access my server using the virtual terminals you will be getting a blank screen no version or anything will be displayed or, or what I can do I can just copy the etc issue.net into a file it's always a good practice to do it into dot original org and now I change my issue.net file to any other message you want to display so I remove everything backslash D is for giving you the date then I give a message something whatever you wish to give like you are accessing a secure server and all your activities are monitored you can give a smiley here and that's it anything you want to give wow save come out now how to check it fine so I have my issue.net as you remember that issue.net is used when you access your server over a network using telnet now here it is I had modified my issue.net to some customized message here I have a user here alok created here it is what I'm trying to do I'm trying to hit this server 
from a remote machine with the login name alok fine i go here i do a telnet or say 172.24.0.253 it's the ip address of my virtual machine here it is you can see there no kernel message is being displayed no version and nothing is being displayed now it is very difficult for alok or anybody who's trying to hit you to get a fingerprint of the os so now i can like do a normal telnet session but now i am hiding my information so it is though a very small video but a very important tip to make or the first step in securing your servers so i hope you like this video thank you very much see you again soon god bless